Hey guys, what's up? It is Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. Welcome back to the backup channel. <laughs> Today's topic is your feelings are different than my results. <laughs> Big shout outs to the African superstar family. I hope you guys are finding this backup channel. Obviously, I can't post on my main channel currently. Um, so please make sure you like, share, subscribe the content if you like it as usual. Um, you know, one thing that happens a lot right now, especially via social media is everybody has an audience. Everybody has a platform to share their ideas, share their opinions, share their thoughts. Uh, obviously for people that are coming to the diaspora, we really get a lot of backlash from either people that aren't in our position, people that are very ignorant as to what's available, um, people that, you know, want to remain in denial about some of the real life things that are challenging them in their lives and potentially the future of their descendants. They just don't want to kind of grasp where we are in this time in our lives and in our generation. Um, and I basically want to send this video out, you know, which is your feelings are different than my results. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but I just want to let you know, like you can feel any type of way you want to feel, but results are what really demonstrates the validity of how you feel. So for instance, I felt that I needed to leave the Western environments. I felt that, um, the things that were confronting me were perpetual, that they were going to be ongoing and that I have very little control over, uh, impacting those elements. Okay. That's how I felt. I also felt that I would be more suited for African lifestyle. Um, I also felt that, you know, my future descendants would be more suited for African lifestyle. I felt a lot of things, um, but my feelings compelled me to take actions, which led into the results, you see. So when, for instance, I talk about uh, being able to live a, a great lifestyle here on the continent, I have the results to back that up. You see, because what we have out here in social media is we have a lot of people just spewing their feelings and their thoughts. And a lot of our people are very emotional. And there's like, you got all that going on, but what, what do you have to back it up? If people talk bad about the continent, what, like, what are your results? Are you talking about a place that you've never been? Are you talking about a place you don't even have a passport? So you're talking about, a, you're negatively talking about a place you never been. You don't have a passport. And you want to try to have some relevance with someone who is actually <laughs> living that lifestyle. I mean, you know, and I said it on my Facebook the other day. Confidence to the insecure person is offensive. To a lot of people, the way I talk is offensive because they feel put on the spot by the things I'm saying. First of all, I'm compelling you to action. I'm advising you to assess yourself. Look at who you are, where you are. What are you doing to contribute to some of the factors that uh, are facing you? You know, I'm also compelling you to look for a solution to the dynamics that you can change. You know, uh, one of the biggest reasons I had to leave the West was because I couldn't change it. I can't change the things that I hated the most. I couldn't change the things that were impacting me on an everyday basis. And I looked at the past to know, wow, these things have been in effect for a very long time. I'm not naive and I'm not narcissistic to think it doesn't impact me too. You know? So I got to send this video out because a lot of you guys are spending your energy in the feeling part of the equation. You feel this way and you feel that way and you are deeply touched and you have trauma and you have scars and you got all of that and all that's relevant. I'm never going to take your experiences from you. But the only way to change those feelings, especially if they're negative feelings, especially if they're non-productive feelings, is to channel that energy into a vehicle that can bring you results. That's where I sit. I'm in the results part of my life. And it's a very glorious, 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 glorious place. <laughs> Big shout out to the African superstar family. Please make sure you guys subscribe to the backup channel. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.